If you're somebody who wants to dabble or investigate into the world of malware analysis, in this project, I'm gonna be overviewing how to get started in malware analysis. And in this project series, we're gonna be going over resources as well as setting up our own isolated malware analysis lab, going through some CTFs, as well as analyzing some real world malware samples using uh, security tools, methodologies, and techniques. So yeah, this is the Malware Analysis Project 101. It's trendy, I know, but let's go ahead and, uh, well, overview what's going on. For those of you who don't know what malware analysis is, or really the purpose behind it in cybersecurity, well, Malware analysis basically comes down to understanding the behavior and purpose of malicious files, programs, and executables. And there's a you know assortment of reasons why one might want to dabble into the world of malware analysis. Maybe it's just general curiosity. Um, but when it comes to the industry, uh, malware analysis helps assist security practitioners in building indicators of compromise for their threat intelligence or threat analysis tools, triage incidents uh, or active incidents of what's happening in their environment, as well as maybe building out some threat detections and alerts and providing additional context into the latest techniques and behaviors um, and evasion techniques happening in real, the real world. And just like cybersecurity, the world of malware is constantly evolving. So in this project, I assume a complete beginner's mindset into the world of malware analysis investigation and analysis. And really, the overall goal is to enhance one's comprehension and provide exposure into investigating malware in the real world, as well as malware infection techniques and popular tools used by security practitioners. Now, there's a few sub goals in this project, and that basically comes down to understanding the basics of malware infection techniques and indicators of compromise, learning the foundations of basic static and dynamic analysis, and then investigating real world historical samples of malware with the help of written guides if necessary. Uh, so let's go through the project. What are we going to be doing? Uh, well, step one is the foundational training course for this project, which is Practical Malware Analysis by Matt Cayley on TCM Academy. Uh, Matt is an individual who has 10 years experience. I actually just got done completing this course myself, and it took me roughly 22 hours to complete. Um, he goes by Husky Hacks and this course offers a great foundation and instructional, practical, hands-on um, you know, analysis and investigation of the world of malware. Step two is going to be creating our own malware lab environment. I'm going to be showcasing how to do this both in uh, VirtualBox as well as in AWS using EC2 and Terraform. Step three is going to be going through uh, CTFs via Malware Unicorn. There's some really cool CTFs on Malware Unicorn that are hands-on and they're uh, self-guided through the process. And then in step four is gonna be investigating live malware samples. This is where the malware analysis crash course is gonna come into play. I'm gonna be overviewing some typical tools as well as basic methodologies when it comes to malware investigation as well as investigating in historical banking Trojan. Um, so for those of you who don't know much about malware analysis, there's really two different types of techniques, and it comes down to static and dynamic. Both of these methods or techniques are going to offer an assortment of information uh, and telemetry with what's happening within malware. Now, static really comes down to not requiring the code or the program to actually execute, and you're gathering static information such as the file hash, maybe looking at the header, file name, or even just looking at you know hard-coded strings and IP addresses, um, and you're just gathering some basic data. And then dynamic comes down to running the program or the code or executable in a safe sandbox, and you're examining what is happening to the malware uh, when it is executed. So you're trying to understand the different types of behavior. And ultimately, when it comes to the world of malware analysis, you're gonna combine both of these techniques to provide hybrid analysis, which is just a combination of both. Now, there are an assortment of tools, many, many different tools out there. Um, and some are free, some are commercial. And ultimately, in this course, I'm going to be showing two basic tools. Number one is Flare VM, which is a collection of software installation scripts 
uh, and it downloads a huge archive of malware analysis tools. And then we're going to be using Remnux, which is a free Linux distribution. One of many use cases for Remnux is to function as a C2 server so that when malware goes out and reaches out to a host, um, it will simulate that server for that malware. Now let's like take a look at the topology. What are we going to be building in this course? So like I said, we're going to have uh, an isolated virtual machine environment, one with running Flare VM, the other with Remnux. So within our virtual machine, Flare VM is going to exist, and this is where we're going to download and detonate the malware. And like I said, there's going to be the C2 host running in the background in an isolated environment, and that's going to be Remnux. And I'm going to be showing how to do this both in VirtualBox as well as AWS using EC2 instances and Terraform to do infrastructure as code and to launch our lab environment very quickly uh, and destroy it as well. So looking at the project schedule, here is what's going to happen. We're going to have video one, which is what you're looking at today. And then video two and three are really going to be getting into the nitty gritty. Uh, video two is going to be overviewing how to build your own malware analysis lab, like I said, with VirtualBox and AWS. And then video three is going to be the ultimate crash course, where we, where we are going to analyze a banking Trojan with our isolated malware analysis lab and some popular malware analysis tools, and we're going to be writing a small little malware report. Now, step one within this project series, if you're trying to follow along here, is going to be practical malware analysis, like I said. This is a huge inspiration and a huge shout out goes to Matt, not only for the practical malware topology lab, uh, but just all the assortment of methodologies, behaviors, and tools and techniques. So I highly recommend that you check out this course on TCM Academy. It's a very affordable course. There's a link in the description below. Finally, some warning and disclaimers. Number one is safety is key. So when you are detonating malware, especially on a very valuable laptop, you need to follow protocols and standards when it comes to downloading and then detonating these malware samples. Always follow the instructions within courses and follow common standards. And then some disclaimers. Number one, I take no responsibility or accountability for the infection of the software or programs or files or corruption of anything. Um, this is just a sample crash course here. Number two is that this project and this series of videos is for educational purposes only. I do not condone the development or use of or spread of programs um, intentionally to harm assets or networks or humans or anything else. Uh, this is just a crash course, a series for educational purposes only. So I am excited to launch this project series. If you want more resources, go to the Malware Analysis Project 101 on cyberacademy.org. Here you're going to find basically more information on this project as well as resources. So uh, we'll see you in the project series.